Nervous? I am. <laughs> <laughs> An expected reaction mere hours before the Prime Minister decides his fate in the Cabinet. With many citizens still without an adequate supply of water, Public Utilities Minister Emmanuel George admits he is not fully satisfied with his performance. I think that I did a, a, a reasonable job, I don't know. I mean, it's left for people to judge, you see, and the Prime Minister is the, the single most important judge of that. The ministers seem nervous. Are they very much on edge at this hour? <laughs> um, it's probably because we did not have a good lunch. <laughs> Attorney General Anon Ram Logan a little less timid as he leaves the Senate chamber to meet with the Prime Minister at the Diplomatic Centre. In the face of public pressure, Mrs. Pasad Bissessa will put her ministers in the hot seat, telling them if they're staying, going or changing jobs. But the Attorney General believes his office has achieved its legislative goals, especially with crime. We've passed several major pieces of um, legislation um, to, uh, that will go a long way in the fight against crime. We've had the abolition of preliminary inquiries, the DNA Act, we've had the electronic monitoring bill recently, the amendments to the Legal Aid Act, um, and we've had the Anti-Gang Interception Act. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.